In this video, we will learn how to configure a course. After creating a course, you can start setting up your settings. Go to a course and select Admin from the left bar. The Admin menu allows you to configure many aspects of a course such as Import, Export, Archiving the course, Copying courses, Configuring different features and Adding child courses. Click on Configure. The Configure area is split into different areas to make it easier to set up options. In the Basics tab, you can change the essential aspects of a course. Under Overview, you can change the picture, name, short and long description of the course. In the Settings area, you can configure different aspects such as Access Code, Style, Duration and more. Let's change the style of the course. Click on Edit. Under Style, choose between Instructor, Blended or Self-Paced. In the case of instructor-led courses, the learning process takes place in a traditional training environment. Blended courses are used when the learning takes place in a training room environment, but some of the modules are self-paced. If you choose self-paced, then all the modules will be self-paced and learners can take the course anytime, anywhere. After you choose the style of the course, click Save. In the landing page section, you can choose the course landing page. We usually recommend selecting the modules page. In the tabs area, you can configure which options you would like available in the course, such as news, calendar, resources, games, and more. If you want learners to visit your course at a specific time and location, then you can set a course schedule under the Schedule tab. Click on Add Course Time, select the day, the duration, and the location of the course. Then click Save. You can add multiple time periods for a course. The Enrollment tab allows you to set up options regarding enrollment, unenrollment and inactivity. For example, you can choose if you want to notify instructors of enrollments, you can define the maximum number of learners for the course, you can allow learners to unenroll and more. You can also define rules for enrollment, unenrollment and inactivity. To define actions, click Add in the corresponding section. We have a separate video on how to add rules, so please make sure to watch it. In the Modules tab, you can configure the order in which modules and assessments should be completed. You can also schedule learner access to content using Drip Content. Click on Enable and set the number of days, hours and minutes when modules should be unlocked. You can also send a canned or custom message. Then click Save. Now the first module will be unlocked upon enrollment and the next modules will be unlocked after the defined schedule. In the Modules tab you can also configure the layout of the modules, such as including a list of sections at the top of each module, showing all sections on the same page to learners, and more. In the Assessments tab, you can set up your options for grading and assessments. You can enable grades, grade maps and rubrics for assessments, and you can configure the grade map. You can configure assessment categories and weighting schemes. You can define how grades are displayed and you can set up grading periods. To set up a new grading period, click Add. Enter the name of the period, the start date and the weight. Then click Save. In the Completion tab, you can add rules for actions that should be performed upon completion of the course. To see the list of possible actions, 
Click Add under Completion Actions. In the Newsfeed tab, you can configure who can post in the course newsfeed if you want to allow comments and more. In the Catalog tab, you can configure your options for the course catalog, such as publishing the course, including descriptions, and more. If you wish to sell the course, the e-commerce tab allows you to set prices for your courses and discount codes. To set a price for your course, click Edit, enter the price, then click Save. After you set the price, you can add discount codes. To add a discount code, click Add. Enter the percent and the name of the code, then click Save. To specify certificates that a learner must have before they can enroll in the course, go to the Prerequisites tab and click Add. Here you can add a new certificate or use an existing one. Click on New, enter the name of the certificate, write a description, then click Save. To upload a PDF version, click on the certificate's name, then choose Upload Certificate. You will see a list with fields that the PDF can include. Click Add PDF Certificate. Select the certificate. Then click Upload. In the More tab, you can add a welcome pop-up, write boxes, and configure different aspects of the course such as allowing learners to add course groups, allowing learners to edit the resources area, and more. To add a welcome pop-up, click Add under the corresponding section. Write a title and the content of the page, then click Save. In this video, we learned how to configure a course. To see more features, watch some of the other videos or visit our features page on our website.